Jersey City road crews hit the streets early this morning, pre-treating roadways with brine. The saline mixture requires less salt than the usual truck spreaders and helps conserve the city's salt supply, which is running low after back-to-back -back storms. Every storm costs the city about $150,000 and we use about 800 tons of rock salt. Um, we have about 350 tons on hand right now. We're hoping to get a shipment today before the next big storm. Salt's in short supply across the state, just as New Jersey prepares for this latest major winter storm. I know that a lot of municipalities are challenged right now in terms of salt, as are some of the counties, as is the state, um, because this has just been a brutal winter. Um, and so we're continuing to work to try to get more salt into the state, uh, to be able to utilize uh, it, to be able to help make travel here safer. Kenilworth salt storage facility is virtually bare. Department of Public Works Superintendent Dan Ryan says Union County came to the rescue, giving them just enough to make it through the night, they hope. Well, right now, as you can see, we're, that's all the salt we have. We have another maybe seven or eight yards in one of our spreaders, and that's all we have left. So how are you going to cope through tonight's storm? Well, I'm hoping that we have enough to get us through this storm, um, and then I'm hoping, you know, we're going to get a delivery soon. This harsh winter is also taking a toll on state resources. So far this season, the State Department of Transportation has spent about $70 million for snow removal. That's about $7 million more than last year, and winter is hardly over yet. The pending nor'easter could also mean another day off for students. As the snow days begin to pile up, officials and school districts are flipping through their calendars, looking at options. Bring students in on a Saturday or shorten winter or spring break. We had to pull back our Tuesday um, for next week and make that a regular uh, school day. And if we uh, close tomorrow, we'll be open on Friday. Travelers here are already feeling the impact of ice and snow even before it hits New Jersey. At Newark Liberty International Airport, passengers lined up to reschedule canceled flights, and Amtrak has also scaled back service. New Jersey Transit will cross honor tickets starting tomorrow through Friday, so customers can use their passes on rail, light rail, or buses. I'm Desiree Taylor, NJTV News.